And in the latest development within the Labour Party, a leadership crisis has intensified as a faction led by Julius Aburi rejected the reconciliation panel headed by Limidu uh, Apapa's faction. The 29-man panel established by Apapa's side and led by Chairman Oti was designed to address internal disputes, but Aburi's faction has dismissed it as illegitimate. The conflict threatens to deepen the rift within the party, particularly as they prepare for the next round of elections. Now, the division stems from long-standing tensions over the leadership structure, mm -hmm. with both factions vying for control. Aburi's camp has consistently questioned the authority of a Papa's faction, and this latest rejection of reconciliation efforts highlights the deeper mistrust between the two sides. Many within the party, the Labour Party, worry that this power struggle could weaken the party's overall standing and derail its ability to function effectively in the coming months. And so joining us today, uh, Mr. Abayomi Arabambi, she's the Factional Publicity Secretary for the Labour Party, and also will be joined by G Mr. Gambo Daniel Balarabi. He's a former Chairman of Contact and Stakeholders Engagement Committee of the Labour Party National transition uh, gentlemen he will join us shortly but mr Bayomi, thank you so much for coming and we appreciate you for doing this with us welcome mr Bayomi. Yeah, good morning uh, uh, thank you for having me thank you uh, let's start with uh, let's start with your thoughts so far what is the main reason your faction rejected uh, this reconciliation panel and do you foresee any future where there's dialogue and reconciliation between both factions well, thank you very much. Uh, like I said, uh, there is a mix-up here in your introduction. A Papa fashion is not the is not the one rejecting the purported meeting, where, as far as we are concerned, the people there are gathered to celebrate their entrance into political menopause. We are not part of it, and uh, there is no fashion in the Labour Party. Our Papa and Aburi are one body now, and the other people are the illegal, unconstitutionally recognized, un unconstitutional, uh, compo compo un 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 I mean, unconstitutionally composed, a uh, self tie neck, or whatever they call their names. So, for the avoidance of doubt, uh, Papa and uh, Abure are uh, one body after the judgment of the Court of Appeal. Even though we are still before the Supreme Court, but as a law abiding, you know, Nigerian, after we got the receiving order, the same people celebrating themselves now as leaders of the party went against the FCT High Court order that restrained Aburi then in 2023. Because I want people to really understand. After that, Abure proceeded to court of appeal with them, with the NFC, with Alessoti, with Peter Obi, with Gambo, all of them proceeded to court of appeal. And Abure won, and the court of appeal said that uh, that receiving order is hereby set aside until a superior court set that court of appeal other side and the judgment of the court of appeal is that Abure should continue on that note Abure called for a, a peaceful meeting even why the court I mean the Supreme Court our matter is depending before Supreme Court because that is the only court in the land that will settle that's the only court that will settle issue of leadership so we came together as one body with Abure and Papa and that was why I reverted back to my position as Daniel Public Secretary a papa divided by the position, a deputy national chairman, a bully retained his chairman, Faru retained his uh, position. And as we speak now, there is no vacancy in the National Great Committee. Now, having said that, because I know the other man will come and say, so let me quickly prepare some ground for us. Section 222 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I repeat, Section 222, I am not the one that wrote it. No association by whatever name called shall function as a party, as a political party, unless the name and address of national officers are registered with the Independent National Electoral Commission 
to every member of the association is open to every citizen of Nigeria, irrespective of its place of origin, circumstance of birth, sex, religion, and ethnic grouping. A copy of a constitution is registered in the principal office of the Independent National Electoral Commission. That is section 222 ABC. You know, is it continue? But let me stop here. Now, regarding our constitution, in Osibo versus Sinek, the Supreme Court, Osibo versus Sinek, because you have lawyers there, the annex said political party must obey their constitution. If you don't obey your constitution, and you now say you want to obey the constitution of Nigeria, the Supreme Court said you are only wasting your time and you will run peril of your constitution. Now, what Section 222 says is that anybody could register an association, but once you call it a political party, it will leave your domain and now reside where, in A, they said addresses, officers shall be lodged with the Independent National Electoral Commission. That means I next. <clears throat> Is the one in charge of local party and not the person that registered it as you know a liability limited company. When you register a company, it's different. But once you call it a political party, you know it will leave you. It will have a life of its own. Now our constitution in line with the Supreme Court, Article 11. Please help me to write it down so that when the other person speak, it was I need to quote from our constitution and not from constitution of PDP where they came from. Article 11, party organization. There shall be. Four level shall connote in the Supreme Court context as a must, please. There is no ambiguity here. And no lawyer will come and tell me that what shall mean is maybe, you know, something that they have an option. No, it is a must. Our constitution said there shall be four level of party organization, namely what local government, state and national. Please, I am reading from the Fantastic. Labor Party Constitution. So I nobody will now raise... think. Thank you, because I wanted you to raise the, 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 the constitution for us to take a look at. Continue, please. Okay, okay. So now, the Article 12, principal organs of the party. We, the principal number one, the most senior is National Convention. The neck is the next. National okay, Committee, Board of Trustees. I don't want to belabor you with the rest. Now, let us now go to the power. I, I mean, I mean, the composition of neck now. Our National Executive Council shall consist of one national chairman, three deputy national chairmen, at least one of whom will be a female and other representative for the platform. The vice president, the president, president of the Senate, and deputy, speaker and deputy, if produced by the party, governors and deputy governor. Then they now list all other NWC you know, member. Now, the issue here is this, the purported celebration and exhibition of menopause, political menopause in Abia has been defeated because we do, we do not have anything called stakeholder <clears throat> in any organ of our party, world, local government, state and national. Then the principal organs of the party is National Convention, Executive Council, Working Committee, Board of Trustees, State Congress, State Security Council, up to World Executive Council. All so, right. ab initio, what they were doing is illegal. Now, okay. in 2009, <clears throat> let me remind Nigeria, Abdouai Doma was the uh, president of NFC. Mimiko asked them, why can't you amend this your composition of National Executive Council to include the National Assembly member, the State Assembly member, and some other people, their answer to him was that they would hijack the party. That was why, technically, Papa Jofo and Co. wrote this constitution and excluded the National Assembly. Now, they put the governor because they never knew we are going to have governor until when Mimiko came on board. But Mimiko didn't interfere like uh, Governor Lesotho is doing, you know, he will call a peaceful meeting when by Sadanya was national chairman and A. Salam was the national secretary. Now, once you are not a member of the National Executive Council, how dare you now say, oh, I am calling for next and now set up one caretaker committee. Now, right. I will now go to the tenure of 
our auditor. Just a moment, okay, sir. Just, just, a a moment, moment, sir. just a moment, sir. I know you're about to go to the tenor part of it to establish whether or not uh, Aburi's tenor is up and is no more uh, the, the, uh, the amount of affairs when it comes to leadership of Labour Party. But we've just been informed uh, that uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Daniel Gambo has joined as engineer. Uh, Daniel Gambo, he is the uh, former chairman of uh, Contact and Stakeholders Engagement Committee of the Labour Party National Transition, uh, and he joins us now. Uh, live. I understand, sir, that you are pressed for time and you will not be here for long, so we won't take too much of your time. Giving uh, Mr. Uh, Arabambi's response and reading from the Constitution, how do you respond now to the allegations or the accusations from the Abure's camp uh, that the panel that has just been formed, newly formed, is illegitimate? Thank you very much, uh, moderator. I didn't, capture, I didn't get your name, though. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've listened, though, I'll be positioned here. However, yes, Arabambi quoted the Constitution correctly. There's no ambiguity. But his definition of stakeholder is false. If you look at the definition of stakeholder, it's anyone who is financially and registered to be a member of an association or a union. It's a stakeholder. And if by the Asaba Convention, I'm not going to go into a lot of stories, granted Aburi a one-year extension to conduct an all-inclusive and expansive convention starting from, this one is the judgment of Justice Gabriel Kolawale, from what congresses, local government congresses, and state congresses, and the, uh, accumulating into the national convention, with, with, with under, underline that word, with delegates elected at the world, at the local government, and at the state level to attend such a convention. This was not carried out by the convention that extended tenure from the agreed NEC meeting in Asaba on the 8th of April, 2023, that granted him one year to conduct that, noting that, that Justice Kolaole's judgment granted him months to inaugurate a board of trustees. Abu um, Arab and B that is speaking, there was a former uh, public relation officer of the party. He was expelled by the party. Expelled. When you say somebody is expelled, and today, when he was expelled, Ar um, Abure was the chairman, recognized the chairman of the party, and there was a disciplinary committee. And that committee expected for him to come back today and start talking on behalf of Aburi. It's amazing and abhorring as a Nigerian who believes in uh, um, sincerity and the progress of the country and believe in due process. He shouldn't show his face here. In fact, when I saw him, I wanted to leave. But I said, well, it's good to stay to educate the people. Now, the stakeholder meeting convened in Abia. It's an OC political commission in April 8, um, 2024, during which all the stakeholders, including Abure and his colleagues, were invited. Yes, some of them attended. And in that meeting, understanding that his tenure will expire on the uh, 10th of June, passed also a vote of no confidence because he's shrouded in a lot of legal court cases of forgery, perjury, and all sorts of... Look, we are Nigerians and we want true, true country. We want actually a nation where our masses will now get the right and the, um, what they call, dividend of democracy. We don't want to truncate what our uh, leaders have said with respect to democracy. Right, now, sir. the new critical committee is not here to inherit the position of the uh, leaders of the party is just a committee instituted by us, the stakeholders, to say, look, come in, set the stage right for Congresses to take place 
at the world, local government, state, and national for a national convention with elected delegates. And thereafter, officers, what are they afraid of? The Abure and Arabambi and their group, what are they afraid of? Go and contest at your ward if you deserve to be a ward representative or local government or state. Yes. Or, you know, if you, want, if you think you have the capacity to contest any position at the national, nobody is driving you away. We want people to join the party, but this party must be a party that Nigerians want to use as platform to aspire into whatever political position they want to, not transactional party. Now, somebody defined it yesterday to me as top I chop party. All right. All right. With people like Engineer Gambo, Abdul, Kar Abdul Rahim, Abdul Ibrahim Wahab, and the others, we intend to put this party in the right platform of right position for everybody now, to come Gambo, and I will defend, can, we will defend hear. the right of everybody who wants to contest. There All will be right. no appointment, there will be no apportioning of position. Everybody will come and contest like every other person. Thank you very this much, Engineer Gambo. Thank and you I don't litigation. think I have much time. I'm in church. Uh, I yes. have to leave you people. All and right. I have said all. If you want more, I can be uh, around again to talk to you. We thank would you love that much. We will definitely send you another invitation. But uh, thank you so much for thank taking out the much. time. We really did hope that uh, uh, Mr. Rabambi would uh, give you a right of reply there in some of the statements that you made. But mm -hmm. we'll do that in, in due course. Uh, Mr. Rambabi, um, you've heard what Mr. Engineer Gambo has said regarding the leadership, and we can hear the differing, we can hear the differing uh, opinion regarding. The, uh, please, would you please unmute your phone? We are unable to get your audio, if you do not mind. Thank you very much, Mr. Rabambi. Now, after hearing what Engineer Gambo has said regarding the leadership of the LP, what is there to say about reconciliation? What would the party do to be able to get out of this tussle that they find themselves right now? What could be the best way out? Well, before I go to that, I hope I'm audible now. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, you see, for me, I discuss based on constitution, whether constitution of Nigeria, electoral act, and the party constitution. I was about to discuss the function of national chairman and the tenure. Now, Article 14, so that, you know, we are talking to our international television. Only God knows where and where they are watching us all over the world. Now, Article 14, state power and function of national officers. One, national chairman shall give leadership and shall preside over all meetings of the national convention, national executive council, the national committee. It stated, shall, shall, I said again. Now, the national secretary in Article 14, I mean 14, 4, B, national secretary shall cause to be issued notices of meeting of the national convention, National Executive Council and National Key Committee of the Party in consultation with an approval of the National Chairman. <clears throat> and finally, from our, our party constitution, Article 15, talk about tenure of national, I mean, of office. All national officers of the party shall hold office for a period of four years and shall be eligible for the election. But Article 15, 5, state that no member shall serve in the same office for more than eight years except a person who first came to the office via vacancy. Via vacancy. Anybody that comes via vacancy can even spend beyond <coughs> eight years. You know why? That was what they eat away from just Now, in 2018, about the convey, I mean, about the purported <coughs> court. Constant judgment they were talking about. Abure was not the national chairman. It was A. A. Salam, the late A. A. Salam. Abure, but Abure was not secretary. He was not in the picture. It was A. A. Salam, the president of NSC, the president of TUC, that were indeed. We do know B or Governor Oti. They are all of them are still doing their business. Gambo are doing their business in PDP as of 2018. Now. What they now did, what the Constant government said, they should organize an all-inclusive convention based on Labour Party Constitution. It was just the economic ability too, based on Labour Party Constitution. I am going to send it to you from my phone after this meeting. Now, in 2019, we now proceeded to Akwanga to organize our convention. 
There, NSC nominated Maria Labake and Umoru. <coughs> they used to nominated Ladilia and one other person into Mr. that Rabbi. convention. And that was why that woman succeeded our late chairman when he died. The, 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 our first Latin chairman was Maria Labeke from the NSC. So Mr. that has already been taken care of. Mr. Rabami. Now, when the man died, Mr. in Rabami. 2021, we elected Aburi Mr. as Rabami. our national chairman. 2021, he was elected national chairman. That's what you just said for Aburi. Yes. Aburi now has now been president yes. for three years. Um, and now we're in 2024. And so I have to ask you, um, with all of the submission uh, that our last uh, 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 guest made, and that is uh, Engineer Gambo Daniel Balarabi, he said that an invitation was extended to yourself and other members of uh, the Aburi-led ex schools, and most of them, some came, some did not come. He also said that there was a vote of no confidence in the president in, in the uh, the current national chairman or the chairman abure it well he also said that um uh, that uh, because of that no that vote of no confidence uh that everyone else they had to then install a new uh, committee and that this national committee is as only stakeholders this is not about the leadership <coughs> and nobody is trying to hijack the party hold on i'm coming now with all that he said i'm giving you a right of reply are you going to reply to any of the, the allegations or statements that he made regarding your escorts of the Aburi led escorts or your team saying that, especially the fact that all of the members who attended voted, all the stakeholders there voted a no confident vote in the case of Aburi, Aburi as national chairman? See, you can't build something or nothing where you lack the locals. The cause said local is a place of standing. Once you are not given a platform to stand, you dare not go there and tell them this is how this structure was supposed to be put in place. I said, the, when you want to convene a meeting, is the national secretary and national chairman that can convene <coughs> meeting of the national convention, national safety council, and national working committee. So you can see where we are coming from. <coughs> what they are doing, what they did there was just a jamboree. And like I said, they are just exhibiting the fact that they have reached their political menopause because they don't seem to understand. Now, the man is talking about vote of confidence. When you don't have a local, who are you to have vote of no, no confidence? In all those meetings there, it is only Alessotti and his deputy that is a member of our National Executive Council. We don't have any other governor. Obi, as our former president candidate, does not have a place in our constitution. It wasn't us that did it. It was Papa Jopo that did it. With them, with themselves there, the NSP, because they were afraid that politicians will come and hijack their social. And you have seen what is happening. Now, they are talking about I mean, credibility. They said that Bure doesn't have credibility. The court, court of appeal said, we are wrong. We can't query the court. We have to go higher. But the woman they appointed has over 7.4 billion EFCC matter on her head. Over 7.4 billion. He has been arranged. He has, she has been drugged twice in Kirikiri prison. That matter is still ongoing. Do not forget, that was how they brought Dr. Do Yokupe. And at the end of the day, EFCC has to do their job. On this woman also, she is not credible because she was the financial director of the Northern Campaign Organization. She was also on loan to Labour Party by PWP in 2023 general election. Where up to today, they have not been able to give us audited, financial audited account of income and expenditure. And that was why ESCC even arrested her, where money was just transferred without any receipt. And she is still on need today. And for us, all of them, especially Governor and the we are holding a meeting shortly where all of them will be suspended. Mr. And Rabbi, we wait, wait. are also going to write to, yes, yeah, all of them will be suspended by our neck. And we are also going to write to the ESCC. Let's come and look at the book of this woman now. We don't want people with cultural character to come and invade our party because as a team, for God's sake. I, when people, you want to who are the people, people with questionable characters? I said, he was saying the point vote on no confidence on Aburi. I said, Nene Jusman has no, has no competency, has no capacity, has no credibility. Because from Jonathan administration in 2016, 
She was sent to click the prison over a fraction of seven point something billion that she has not explained today. She is on a bail of 500 million as we speak. A bail of 500 million. And now that was the kind of character that would be brought to come and manage their own party like they did with the daughter of Yokube. All of you knew what happened. We, we spoke about that thing. They didn't listen Mr. to her. Rabami, until we when wish we could the let PSC you thing, continue, you know? but unfortunately we have Is run that? out of time. We have to say thank you and yeah, put a pin in it for now. But thank you very much, sir, for all the explanations and also giving your stand on the opinion. We appreciate it very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.